why don't we um, spend a few minutes in a quick um, a quick recap, and then I will, um, and then we can let everybody out back into the bad weather. Um, so first of all, I hope everybody had a productive afternoon, morning and afternoon. Um, I, we certainly did. I, this was hugely inspirational, I think, for all of us from the state government. Uh, the Gates, can we do a yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Um, and I, I had, among other things, I had the chance to drive around with, um, with the mayor and drove through Johnson Park and saw, um, saw all of your good work and, and uh, we saw the, the mission house and um, the rescue mission and a number of other projects, um, areas that, that benefited from state investment and from nonprofit activity and everything else. It's really remarkable. Utica is clearly on its way back up, which is just spectacular. Mm -hmm. It is. It really is. <laughs> So let me uh, let me take this chance, this opportunity to thank a few people. I think, uh, given we lost a few, I think it's pretty much everybody in the room. I'm going to name every single person. Um, <laughs> first of all, obviously the governor for giving us the uh, inspiration to come here and do this. Um, I want to thank uh, my colleagues, Fran Barrett, Krim Kamara, uh, Rowan Destito had to take off, um, Senator Griffo had to take off, Assemblyman Brindisi, and Mayor Palmieri, who gave us a, a, a terrific tour and left us with some cannoli. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm really sorry. We went to Caruso's. Caruso's? It was awesome. Oh, man. They go quick. Yeah. I might have had three. Yvonne Irvin, Jim Hade, Kimberly Hemphill, who told us about her experience this morning. Um, Jeff House, Robin Robinson, of course, Reverend Skates, Ben Lockwood, where's Ben? I thought I saw Ben from a distance before, okay. Um, Peg Ellsworth, Jeff House, who I said twice, um, and, and all of our state partners. Um, I, like I said, I think this was terrific. Of course, the highlight in some ways was the announcement of $50 million. It's only a highlight if you figure out how to take advantage of it. <laughs> um, and so we're going to leave it to you to follow up um, aggressively. We, I'm sure, will not be hiding the news and all the details about how to apply. But, um, but it's on you. Uh, like everything else we talked about today, at the end, there's only so much that the state can do. It really does depend on your, um, your brains and your hard work and your perseverance, because I know it can be difficult. So um, hard work is going to get you to the finish line on that, like so many other things. Um, let, me, um, let me just ask a couple of quick questions. Uh, maybe uh, just one or two people from there could tell us if they have anything in particular that you took away from today um, that you'd like to share with the group. This, this is not a shy crew. Yes. I just wanted to say that she's providing an excellent networking opportunity for me. Oh, good. Oh, nice. I like a lot of the reps from the state agencies were particularly helpful. I got some new ideas for partnerships, new ideas for funding. So I'm very excited. That's great. Well, good. I'm really pleased to hear that. The ears are very long. Sir, what's your name? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I'm John Furman with the Utah Housing Authority. In fact, I'm emailing. There you go. People right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Real Wonderful. follow-up. Wonderful. <laughs> Anybody else? Maybe one more comment? Yes. Like oh, we can do one, two more. Well, that's terrific. Thank you. And maybe um, this woman in the purple started to stand up. And I don't want to cut anybody off who wants to speak. Hi. I'm West Side Youth in New York. Great. <laughs> All right. Can you do that? Um, this has been a very, very, very um, encouraging and informative and necessary. Mm -hmm. um, so necessary. When I walk out of here today, I have more direction. I'm, I'm inspired to continue to do what I do. And I understand clearly now that y'all are actually working with us. <laughs> that y'all are not just stealing <laughs> stuff. That you're pushing it along. And that you're compassionate and that you do understand that you've gotten out of those offices and out of those places and you come down where we are and you understand what we do is important to the people that we serve because this is a service society um, and we're sensitive. And so the fact that you all have come down here and made this accessible to us so that we can go back and do more of what we're supposed to do, what we're called to do, and understand that we're not alone. Um, that government officials and uh, our governor and all of the legislators and different ones, and agencies, that when we come to your offices and we look in your eyes, we understand that you understand 
that you need to be compassionate to us because we're here to do a service to a people. Um, so I just appreciate and I applaud you all. Thank you. That's nice of you. Appreciate that. Right. I'm just wondering what the state's response would be if collectively, as a community, we wrote a fifty million dollar grant together. <laughs> Where's my stamp? Fran, you want to take that question? Yeah, yeah. Fran, I'll do. We'll bring it to Bond Council. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, actually, can can I jump in for that? Not yes. to answer the question about the sure, sure. notes, but. Um, you know, we unfortunately, we fortunately, unfortunately, um, spent some time today on the tour and therefore didn't have the opportunity to listen to all the panels. But um, about four seconds of the panel that I did sit in on um, uh, about uh, best practices in downtown revitalization, there was a comment to, the, to that effect. And Robin, I can't actually remember if you were sitting in that room or not. Um, but interesting that you brought up the theme, which is um, that, you know, there's something also about the power of getting to know each other and doing this together and breaking down some of the silos that I think people spoke to um, as existing in Utica. So I don't know if we can entertain a 15 million, 50 rather, five zero fifty. I think the answer is no, right. actually. So I would just to be <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very you know? Yeah, okay, all right. Um, but absolutely encourage that collaboration. Yeah. Okay, well, um, with that, uh, uh, Karim, maybe you'd like to say a few words and then show us that. Sure, sure. Well, I'm still, I, I still don't understand how we came together in the spirit of collaboration, and I missed out on the cannolis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry about I don't that. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think this is really, you know, a great day, and, and no, I know that we all came here to inspire you and give you information. But I think all of us have been inspired by the work that you're doing, the collaboration that's going on, on the ground, and the amount of dedication and compassion you have for the various areas of service. Um, I will also say, I know the governor in terms of his mandates, one is that we come here and we learn from the experts. You all are the experts. But the other thing is he wants to make sure that we follow up, we continue working with you, mm -hmm. and find out ways to produce for the local area. So this was not just a one day event. You know, We plan to stay in touch with you from the various areas that we, we interacted and look forward to partnering with you uh, going forward. So thank you all so much for your service. Sure. Clapping Woo! again. Amen. 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 Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Kerr. Okay, with that, I think I'm going to say goodbye just for a little while. Um, we'll be back soon. But I hope you all have a good rest of the day, and thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Okay, take care.